Let's go, champ. It's the champ, Shannon and Cannon Briggs, and you're watching True School Sports. Let's go, champ. Well, it's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, some interesting news in that light heavyweight division. Obviously, later on this week, we're going to have that big fight with Dimitri Bibol and Gilberto Zoro Ramirez. This is one that I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. And I'm just so glad that it's happening, but... The main concern for boxing fans for the light heavyweight division is, you know, when are we going to get an undisputed fight, you know, and, and, and what is the realistic timetable for us to get an undisputed fight? Now, Bob Arum, the Bob father himself, he has apparently spoken to the knockout king of boxing. And if you know, no, we're not, we're not talking about Deontay Wilder. The knockout king of boxing is Arthur Better B. And if you disagree, then you just don't know how to do math and you don't know much about boxing. But he was talking to Arthur Better B. Arthur Bedebiev has made his intentions known. He wants to fight the winner of Gilberto Ramirez versus Dimitri Bivol for all the belts for Undisputed and cement his legacy in the sport. Now, it is worth noting that Arthur Bedebiev isn't going to get a clear shot at the right away. He's got to take care of uh, this mandatory defense that's been pending for a long time with Anthony Yard. Uh, he'll be taking on Anthony Yard January 28th out there in London, so... If he can do his part and take care of that, then look for him to fight uh, the winner of Bivol versus Zoro. Now, obviously, people are fully anticipating that 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 Bivol is going to do the business. A lot of people have hopped on the Bivol bandwagon ever since he went in there, and he exposed Canelo Alvarez. Ever since that happened, everyone's saying Bivol is going to beat everybody. Nobody's fucking with Bivol. But this fight with Zoro is, is going to be very tough, and you can't just overlook Zoro. I think Zoro. Is actually, in my humble opinion, the toughest challenge in his career today. No, no disrespect to Canelo or Joe Smith or any of the other uh, uh, fighters that he's fought, but I just think that the the size, the experience, the the southpaw seek and destroy Mexican style, and the stamina and the determination of Gilberto Zoro Ramirez is just something that Bivol has not had to deal with in his career yet. And I would actually be more impressed if he went into this fight and and put on my master class performance than I would, you know him fighting Canelo or any of those guys. Because I, I, I thought Bivol was better than those guys, Bivol and, and I know, Canelo and Joe Smith and these guys. Zoro is a bit of a different type of challenge. So, you know, w right now as it stands, we're one win away, we're, we're one win a piece away from better be than Bivol of getting what I believe to be one of the best fights in boxing, you know, between Bivol and better be. I mean, that to me is one of the hardest fights to pick in boxing because... Either way you pick, you can't be comfortable. If you pick better BF and you, you if you're picking against better BF, if you're picking against those boxing skills of Dimitri Bivol, the same boxing skills that have afforded him what what is it like seven or eight tile defenses now, that 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 against all odds the deck with the deck stacked against him in Vegas helped him to outbox and school Canelo Alvarez. You know, um, if you pick Bivol, then you're going up against the 100 percent knockout ratio against better BF and high. You know, you can't do better than 100%. And the thing is, too, it's not just so much that he knocks people out. It's the way he goes about knocking people out. Better BF can punch, yes, but he can box, too. And he showed that before. You know, a lot of people thought, like, with Alexander Vazdik that, like, even me at that time, a lot of people thought that Alexander Vazdik was going to, you know, outbox and do his thing at range against Better BF. And that proved to not be the case. We saw Better BF box with uh, Alexander Vazdik. And then ultimately outslug him and beat him and, and, and fold him up like a blue steel chair and, chair and capture that WBC title. So, um, yeah, better be able. I really feel like there's not a whole lot for him to let to do in the sport. He, he's no spring chicken. I believe he's like what, 37, 38, or 36 going on 37 or 37 going on 38. He's not, he's, not, he's not young. He lost a lot of those years of his career when Al Heyman wasn't getting into fights. And he sat out of his contract on general principle until he got released. You know, so we almost didn't get a chance to recognize, to, to, to see. We haven't really had a chance to appreciate the greatness of Better BF because, you know, he's been fighting so infrequently. But um, when he has fought, he has made his presence felt and made it in a big way. And I feel like, you know, uh, the way it's going, 2023 might be his last. It, it could be 2023, maybe 2024, the latest, you know, could be his last year's unboxing. And he wants to go with a bang and, and, and cement his legacy in the sport as not just one of 
the best uh, boxers in history, but one of the best light heavyweights in history. So, um, yeah, that's the news. Bob Arum talks about BF. Better BF makes his intentions known. He wants the winner of Zoro versus Bivol next for Undisputed if he should get past his mandatory defense against Anthony Yard on January 28th. So, hey, there's still some hope, guys. Don't be... Um, don't be pessimistic. I mean, this is, Al Heyman's not involved in this, in the negotiations. So I feel like it's more realistic that, you know, Eddie Hearn and, um, you know, Bob Aaron could do business more so than, you know, Al Heyman, whoever, you know. But anyway, leave your comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you guys think we get Undisputed Light Heavyweight Champion uh, next year? Because I, I said at the beginning of this year, the first video I made this year, I said that this is going to be a comeback year for the Light Heavyweight Division. I was right about that, and I think 2023, the light heavyweight division will hit its crescendo. It'll hit its peak. It'll hit its climax, and we will get a uh, an undisputed champion. I'm, I'm going to be optimistic about that. So, uh, yeah. You guys, let me know what you think down below. Leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So, until next time, take care, guys. Uh, just like uh, uh, Mayweather's uncle would say, a lot of people don't know shit about boxing. Um, you know, um, you, you do, you've done Thank it. You. you about the only smart guy that I know, bro. Nobody knows shit about boxing. I appreciate it, man. I'm going to say, man, make sure to follow True School Sports, always covering boxing at the highest level, man. And make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram at just a kid from Danny as Ooh, well. <laughs> he the Got plug. It.